When you're looking to build a setup like the one that you see behind me, there are a lot of components that actually go into this. You have the computers themselves, whether you buy those pre-built or build them yourself. On top of that, you have to figure out what monitors you want. If you're looking to get into live streaming, you have to figure out what camera and audio equipment you want. And on top of that, you have basic stuff like keyboards and mice, and occasionally a console controller if you are into that kind of thing. But one other component often goes underappreciated and often deserves more thought, and that's the chair that you actually are sitting in. Whenever I began to think about what kind of chair I wanted for my setup, I had heard a lot about companies like DX Racer and Need for Seat, and other premium chair companies that are pumping out gaming chairs that supposedly offer new features that regular office chairs don't normally come with. A lot of these chairs offer stuff like lumbar support, they offer better padding, on top of that maybe a neck rest or a neck pillow I've seen some come with, and on top of that some even have stuff like a foot rest that pops out of the bottom of an office chair, which is kind of strange if you ask me, but many features are offered, however with many features comes a higher price. Now some of these premium office chairs can be found on sale for around $250, but some go as high as over $500 depending on what series you want to get. And so, needless to say, I didn't buy that. Because I'm not going to spend over $500 on an office chair. It's an office chair, not a bed. I would wager that many of you are probably in the place that I was in, where I do want a gaming chair, but I want one that's affordable, and so I began to scour Amazon, and I found one for just over $150 that offered a lot of the same features that some of these big boy chairs, the DX Racers and the Need for Seats, offered for a fraction of the price, and so I gave it a shot. After a couple of days of research, I found one and settled on the Mophorn Racing Gaming Chair, whatever it might have been called. It had this incredibly long title, and there's a video up on the channel if you did want to see what I ended up purchasing, but for roughly around just over $150, it offered a lot of the same features of a DX Racer and a Need for Seat for a fraction of the price, and so I thought I would go ahead and take a risk and give it a shot. And yeah, it was a waste of money. I ended up using the chair for roughly about a year and a half, and during that time I actually had to buy additional padding for the seat of the chair because where my tailbone met the chair began to actually give me back issues. Yeah, and on top of that, the pillows that were provided with the chair were pretty much useless. They were hard and they weren't comfortable at all, and so the adjustable wrist began to bend and it was just a terrible experience, and that's what I got from my gaming chair. I want to make it very clear that I've never owned a DX Racer, I've never owned any of these other big premium gaming chair brands, but I think my point here still stands. Whenever you see the term gaming applied to anything outside of a gaming peripheral like a keyboard or a mouse, that's just a gimmick. That's nothing more than a keyword that you search for. That's nothing more than something to grab your attention and get you away from buying a regular office chair and get you to buy this one that's colorful, get you to buy this one that reclines, that has a footrest, that has whatever kind of features they might be advertising. It's nothing more than a scheme, a scam in a way. Now this chair that I'm using right here is not a gaming chair as you can see. It's not a high back office chair. This is simply an ergonomic chair with a mesh back to it with three levels of adjustment. You can adjust the way the seat sits, you can adjust the back, a couple of other things, and of course the wrist rests are adjustable as well. So it offers a lot of the features, quite frankly, of these premium gaming chairs. But on top of that, it's at a fraction of the price and it's much more comfortable. My back issues are completely gone. And it's worth noting, there is at least five inches of padding on this chair, and that's fantastic. The point that I want to drive home here is that there is no such thing as a gaming chair. You could call a couch a gaming couch if you sit on it and play a game. It's the exact same concept. Whenever you're putting together a setup like this, make sure that whenever it comes to the chair, one specific box is ticked, and that's that you are comfortable in the chair that you are getting. Don't be afraid to return a chair if it's not exactly what you want. Don't be afraid to go to an Office Depot or a Staples and sit down in some of the chairs that they offer there to see what actually fits your preference. Give it a lot of thought, because as much as the graphics card that you put into your computer matters, as much as the console you play on matters, the chair that you're sitting in matters even more, because when you're enjoying all these amenities of the technology you're putting together or purchasing, your body is going to definitely feel it if you have a terrible chair. And I know that mine did. But I hope you guys have gotten something out of this video. You can check out some of the other content on the channel, but this was more or less a public service announcement that there's no such thing as a gaming chair. However, I digress. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of the day. I will talk to you soon, and peace.